Hey, so Peter McKinnon just released an ND filter with a Promis built in, but it's kind of expensive. Luckily for you, we can recreate this in Premiere Pro and Photoshop. Before we get into the video, be sure to like the video if you do end up liking it and subscribe down below and let's let's get into the video. So here we have the Peter McKinnon ND. This is his Gen 1 variable ND filter. And this right here, this is a Promist filter. What Peter McKinnon did this time is he took this and he took this and he kind of just merged them together. This means that you only have to carry one piece of glass and you get two different effects just bundled together. Promis filters come in different like stops basically and that means that there are different intensities for Promis filters. What a Promis filter does is it's gonna take your highlights and it's gonna it's gonna bloom them. So there's not gonna be like this like harsh edge to your highlights. It's not gonna be bright and then dark. It's gonna be bright and fade nicely into the darkness and it makes everything look a lot more cinematic. You're also gonna get a lot nicer looking skin using a Promis filter. But the higher you go in the intensity, the higher all of these effects have. So then your video starts to look more dreamlike if you add more Promis. Now variable ND on the other hand is kind of just like sunglasses for your camera. So when you are outside in the bright, bright sun, yeah, you can bring up your aperture a little bit, but it can only go so far until you need an ND filter. And the more powerful the ND filter, the more it's going to actually block sunlight and that means that you can have a nice blurry background as you normally would. So combining these two things is very easy and it's gonna take five seconds to do inside of Premiere Pro itself. Luckily they didn't change the price from version 1 to version 2 but that Peter McKinnon filter is still $250. That's a lot of money for a filter. I'm aware I have two of them. <laughs> this means that I am definitely not trying to spend another $250 to $500 on just straight filters filters. If I can save money and get the same effect, I'm going to do that. So let's jump into Premiere Pro and figure out how to do this effect. You're going to want to start off with your clip itself. Just drag it onto the timeline. Nothing special really. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to duplicate this clip. And then on the duplicated clip, you're going to want to drag on a Luma key. Uh, adjust the threshold. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to isolate your highlights. What the Luma key does is just isolate the brightest parts of your image. So, so mess around with the threshold and try to isolate all of your highlights. You can also mess around with the cutoff. So this is going to have your highlights bleed into the rest of your image just a little bit. What we're trying to do for this first step is to just isolate our highlights. Now all that you're going to do is just add on a Gaussian blur. So basically what we're doing here is we're just isolating our highlights and then blurring them. That is essentially what the Promis filter does and the reason why it looks so good. So like I said, if you're on a budget, if you're trying to save money, if you just don't want to buy a $250 filter, it literally takes two seconds to do this effect in Premiere Pro and you're going to get basically the same results. Now I did mention that you can do this in Photoshop as well. Um, so it's the exact same process. You want to duplicate your clip, isolate your highlights. You're going to do this with the color range tool to isolate your highlights and then just add on a blur and there you go. It's super simple. So this was a super quick video. Hopefully this saves you some money and subscribe because why not? Maybe you just like my face. All right. All right.